Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Rogers and I work at the Augusta Canal National Heritage Area. We're here at the Augusta Canal Discovery Center which is located inside Enterprise Mill. The Discovery Center is where you buy your tickets to go on a Petersburg boat tour. They all leave from the docks here at the mill and the tours are a wonderful way for you to learn something about Augusta's history, to see some of the beautiful wildlife that lives along the canal and to just generally relax and enjoy yourself on a wonderful outing. This boat is designed to resemble the early Petersburg boats that used the Savannah River to get to town before the canal was ever dug. Those Petersburg boats would come down, stopping at all the farms and plantations, picking up the goods to bring into town to sell. Goods like beans, corn, tobacco, cotton, Bessie the cow, anything they needed to send to town was put on one of these long Petersburg boats. Well, just before Augusta on the river, they would have to try to maneuver the rapids. And that proved to be very dangerous and very bad for those boats. Many car much cargo was lost along the way. So even though this was a hydropower canal, a secondary use was transportation and navigation of those early Petersburg boats. And boy, they were glad to have a nice smooth ride into town. Now the same thing that gives us the rapids over on the river is actually what gives us the power behind our water. We are geographically located on the fall line where the Piedmont Plateau region of Georgia drops in elevation down to the coastal plain. So the trick was we could, the drop has already occurred in downtown Augusta. So we could dig an elevated ditch seven miles up to that higher Piedmont portion of the Savannah River divert the water into the ditch from the river, let it come, bring it to town up high on that Piedmont level, while the land and the river drop 52 feet on their way in. So once the water got here, it had good fall to turn those wheels that first created hydromechanical power and then later hydroelectric power that we still produce today in three different mills. The building we're in right now, the Enterprise Mill, was restored about 12 years ago and they held on to that historical integrity of the building. As you walk through the Discovery Center on the didded and marked floors where those mill workers toiled over a hundred years ago, you get just a unique experience in learning about the history. 